All right, today I'm going to talk about uh, the differences between AA meeting and a smart recovery meeting. I think the biggest misconception that like uh, people have when it comes to AA meetings is like uh, is how they actually are run because like uh, how they are actually portrayed like in like um, a lot of like a uh, uh, media, especially like a. Uh, uh, popular media and like uh and ads and like uh, uh shows or videos or whatever is that like uh, in uh, tv shows is that like uh, usually like uh, when you get into like a, a group set and like you bring up like a topic and you have like a uh, like a round table type discussion or, or whatever so like you have that like uh, back and forth like you're actually having a conversation so like uh if like uh like for instance like you have like a uh like say you and you're like uh, three of your friends and you're sitting around like a table and you're like you're uh, having a conversation back and forth about like a topic like uh you you might be t uh, talking about like um yeah, like a, a a hobby that you're into like a you uh big a big thing like a, you, you might you get together like uh to like uh, discuss like uh, w what you may might be doing for like the next weekend whether you get like uh, do like uh, maybe your game of uh, Dungeons and Dragons or you're going to go out to do bowling or the movies or, or something so like you have that like a uh, uh, back and forth discussion and like uh, that's a lot of times what is portrayed and people think that how AA meetings actually run like uh, s someone will bring up something that's bothering them and like everyone will have that back and forth when like uh in all actuality it's like uh, f uh farthest from the truth uh in that like uh, when an a uh, meet and runs is like uh you bring up like a topic like say like i i go in and like oh i need help with my fourth step you you bring up the, the topic and then like it goes pretty much around the room and everyone has like a few minutes just to like uh, give like a uh, like a two to five minute spiel on like uh, the four step or whatever and like um there's really no the uh, there's no of that the back and forth that's actually portrayed in like uh in all forms of media and everything so like uh it's not necessarily like the way it's uh run and, uh or at least portrayed and like uh and you're limited in what you are be uh, what you're able to bring up because like if you don't bring up like a, a pre-approved like a uh, uh, topic or whatever then like uh, the shit shit show begins and everything so like uh, there was once where like I actually brought up like a uh, the top of like a uh, wouldn't a member actually like a uh, 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 recommend other forms of like a uh, recovery like uh, like smart recovery and like um in, in typical fashion it went around the room and like uh uh, the back uh, the backlash that like uh, uh it created like er everyone like uh, pretty much lost their shit because like uh, heaven forbid like uh you bring up like a topic that's not AA approved or whatever so like uh and it really continued like uh, afterwards like uh, uh there's like in the the AA li uh, lingo there's the what's called the meeting after the meeting so like in some areas like uh people will get together and go out to like a, a coffee shop afterwards and start doing the usual like uh, uh back and forth of like uh, uh your little clicks where like uh, of groups of people that they go to like the coffee shop and they'll sit there and talk about like what happens in my area what uh, the meeting after the meeting was uh, what would happen is everyone would just walk outside and like uh never would you ever hear anyone say like uh man i got nothing out of that meeting that was like a complete waste of time and everything everyone was always oh that was such a great meeting and everything so like um but the again back to when I uh, raised the topic of like uh, recommending other forms of uh, other programs and everything like uh, everyone continued to lose their shit and like uh, and it was still like uh, uh, the same kind of concept like it wasn't a pre-approved like uh, AA topic because like you have to like get narrow uh, vision like uh, only talk about AA and like uh, AA approved topics and like uh, and uh, like the steps or the big book or, or like a, anything and like a, if you speak out against anything like a, you get the same type of backlash uh, uh that like um uh, uh, that i got when i uh, asked like uh, uh, would people recommend like another uh program and everything so like um because the whole uh the whole attitude in those meetings are that like uh well, everyone tried everything else before and like AA is the only way that works and everything. So like uh, 
that's in like my opinion when you get like a, a put religion for first and foremost when it comes to recovery and that like uh you it's like uh pretty much you have to do this stuff that like uh, those uh, su the suggestions that they put out like uh, doing the steps getting the sponsor reading the big book and everything they're actually pretty much like absolutes because like uh like like i said if you speak out against like well hey look i i don't read the big book like um like uh, i i don't you know, go to uh, meetings or like uh, i don't do any of these suggestions and i've stayed sober for 10 years and like uh, uh, uh okay you bring that stuff like that up uh, into a meeting and like uh, uh you'll get the same kind of backlash and like um everyone will uh, go around the room and saying like well, this is like uh, I had to do it this way, and like uh, this is pretty much like the only way that they'll have that like attitude where like uh, they'll speak I I ill if you have like any like a uh, uh, criticism, even constructive criticisms. Like, uh, well, I I go to meetings, but I don't do the steps, and that seems to work for me. And like, or like, uh, uh, I I read uh, I read the big book and found like which led me to like uh, other stuff like smart recovery and that ended up working uh, for me or I went to like, a, uh, uh, I came in and like, uh, tried the, uh, tried a, uh, the whole like, uh, nine yards and like, uh, but then like, I went back to like, I was so uh, now if I, I'm like someone who's an outpatient and didn't really uh, find that a was working for me, then like, uh, uh, my counselor or therapist or who I was working for could, uh, qu quite often like uh, start doing like a CBT, uh, uh, ther uh, therapy sessions and that could end up working. So like, uh, that that's like the big misconception of like AA meetings is that like um how they're portrayed in uh, meetings is that like it's like kind of like a round table uh conversation and but in reality it's like uh, like I said you just like uh, bring up a topic and it goes around the room and everyone gives like uh their two cents and everything so like uh the way it's actually portrayed in like a media with like I said I keep reiterating reiterating uh, the round table style is actually more of like a what you see like in smart recovery and like uh, other types of meetings because like uh, instead of having their religion first and foremost in your face and pretty much like okay this is the only way to go with smart recovery having like a uh, science and psychology first and foremost like um, you're able to actually talk about like the uh, uh, the underlying issues sort of like uh with the the four steps like uh you can talk about like uh building and maintaining motivation you can like sit there and work on like okay well what the is like uh gets to the root of my like urges or whatever and like uh with using the concepts that i've gone over in the, the chapters like the cbt the rebt and the uh, dbt and like all like the the pie charts and like all the stuff that you find in, like in the handbook and or the smart recovery app which i went over last week you can also get into like um like uh like uh controlling your thoughts emotions behaviors kind of get into like the the uh fundamental core issues of stuff like that which will lead you into leading like a balanced uh li lifestyle so like uh the stuff like uh, that I've gotten into like the seven pillars like uh, uh, getting into like uh, things like a uh, proper nutrition yeah you do surround yourselves with support group even though like I've gone over that you don't necessarily need AA as a support group you can get like a uh, 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 your support groups outside so like the support groups nutrition uh, you know, doing your training like uh, being sure that you're being physically active like every day making sure you're getting like enough sleep and hydration with uh, with water going through and making sure you're working on like uh your mobility doing stretching and yoga and stuff like that and like um working on your mindfulness doing like what i do is uh, journal every night or you can also get into meditation and like uh, the, the mindfulness also covers like uh any and all uh, therapy that you may be uh, needing to work with uh, with the professionals on getting down to like the uh, like the i said the root causes of like uh well what uh, pushes you to uh down the uh, road of the uh, getting uh, your urges and getting your like uh, uh thoughts emotions behaviors in line and like uh and also like like uh, uh, a a couple weeks ago with consistency making sure you're doing uh, doing that stuff every day and of course like uh with doing all that stuff that's there's like really no such thing as a perfect uh, so it's like it's one of those things it's like uh done is better than perfect so like um uh, if something comes up you know, like you at least get the uh, stuff done like uh, uh recently like uh my uh, left elbow was starting to like uh, uh a little like uh sore like uh, uh i 
can't be 100% sure if it's tendonitis or not, but like uh, it's from doing like a le le the lifting uh, program, uh, the jack program that I'm doing through Athlean X, which I've done a video on. So uh, instead of just being like, oh, well, I can't do this, like uh, I do have stuff that like I can get into doing cardio and everything. So like, uh, uh, so you could like I could if I went to like a smart re uh, recovery meeting I could bring up uh, this topic like okay well like I got this this minor tweak and everything like uh, and this is what's bothering me about it I could bring that up and like um, not necessarily get the backlash because it's not like an AA approved topic like when you go to an AA meeting so like uh, the, that's like uh, the biggest difference between like uh, an AA meeting and a smart recovery meeting is that like a smart recovery one is the what is actually portrayed in the media through like uh, videos, TV shows, or or whatever. Th that that's what they portray in the media as AA means, which is actually what you find in smart recovery means. Whereas like like I said uh, a few uh, number of times, like AA means just like uh, you bring up an AA approved topic, and it just pretty much goes right around the room, and everyone gives their two cents. So those are the big. The two biggest difference between an AA meeting and a smart recovery meeting. So now I can't necessarily talk about like a uh, other topic, like other like uh, groups like uh, Reach Out Recovery or SOS or whatever, because like uh, I haven't personally looked into that stuff yet. So like if you want to look into like uh, those other alternatives or anything, uh, it would it would be good to see like the difference uh, differences and everything. So and of course when you go online, it's uh, kind of different too because like uh, especially now like uh, you might be using zoom so like uh, that's a whole different uh, uh ball game so i'm talking about like uh the stuff that i've had experience with like an in actual in-person uh, meeting so like uh like i said those are the differences between an aa meeting and a smart recovery meeting